I'm uh, here with Bishop Kimmy, and uh, we're just going to visit a little bit about what's coming up down the pipe um, with uh, with a synod, a diocesan synod that was initiated by Pope Francis as a worldwide synod. There is an element of surprise there. It's like, what are your, what are your thoughts about yeah, that? Michelle? Well, you know, I was just thinking as you said that, you know, the Dickens' uh, novel is the best of times and the worst of times. You know, I think it's 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 a little bit of both. I think it's really a good time to to have a synod on synodality. That's what Pope Francis is is asking of us to really um, look at the church, in, you know, in a deep deep way, and and how can we be better listening, uh, better listeners in the church? How we can be better, uh, you know, a church that listens. This is what that uh, what Pope Francis really is is desiring for the church uh, moving forward. And uh, so to be synodal in nature is that we journey together, that we are, we're walking together, we're listening together, we're dialoguing, we're, we're, we're uh, trying to uh, figure out with the Holy Spirit's uh, help uh, where, where we're heading. We just want everybody to have a voice, mm -hmm. uh, everybody to have a, a place at the table to, to speak what's on their heart about where God is leading them. And uh, so I just invite our people uh, priests and uh, all of our lay people, all of our lay faithful, uh, in every walk of life uh, to participate in this uh, synod, this worldwide synod, our participation in the Diocese of Wichita. Uh, we think you'll enjoy the consultations. We think you'll benefit from hearing other people, mm -hmm. from, uh, you know, brothers and sisters in the faith, and, uh, and then um, letting the Holy Spirit speak through us. So what we'll be offering, there'll be some parishes, it'll just be depends upon what they're comfortable with. We'll be um, preparing teams to host um, a consultation, a dialogue um, in the parish, but we'll also have regional gatherings. And so there'll be numerous opportunities. We're launching a website. And, um, so there'll be ample opportunity to, to really speak and to listen. This, the second part of this, is, and this, this process is some synodal process and the worldwide Senate it is it's a three year um, work um, and uh, the first year is really listening and dialogue. The second source of our listening is going to happen through this what's this called this disciple maker index by the through the Catholic Leadership Institute. Can you speak to that a little bit and like yeah sure I, so I, I've just become familiar with this tool of uh, receiving data or input from our people. We're asking all of our pastors to invite the people of the parish to to, fill, to take a survey. All of this, uh, the data that we'll receive, that will all be collated by the Catholic Leadership Institute and, and then that will be sent to, to, to me at, at the diocesan level and then all to, to all of our pastors who participate. Uh, it will give us information about where our people are in terms of their faith, their, their participation in the life of the parish, mm -hmm. their satisfaction, uh, lots of good information. I believe it will be really helpful for me and my leadership team uh, and our curia directors to offer even a, a, a better service uh, mm -hmm. to the diocese, uh, to all of our pastors, uh, having this input from the people of God. Uh, all of that is, is really great opportunities, I think great gifts for us at this time. Um, and um, I want to take full advantage of that and, and, and reap all the fruit that we can from, from these consultations. Now we'll be able to launch the Disciple Maker Index in April, mm -hmm. and then our parish and other uh, regional uh, consultations can take place April, May, and maybe early June, and then we'll be ready to, to synthesize uh, a report that we'll send um, to the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops and then that'll all be collated and sent to the Holy See of Rome. Very good, thank you, Bishop, You're for welcome. kind of just fleshing that out a little bit as far as like what this means uh, for us as a diocese and what this will kind of look like, so. Yeah, very welcome, thank you. Yep.